When considering life in the Yellowstone Thermal Basin, extremophiles that thrive in extreme temperatures or acidic conditions come to mind. Some of these extremophiles prominently display the colorful bacterial mats that characterize some thermal features. Some plant species survive simply by resilience. Lodgepole pines are ubiquitous in Western North America, but they thrive in the slightly acidic, nutrient-poor soils of the Yellowstone caldera, where other tree species are not as abundant. However, as the tree's roots absorb water from the hydrothermal fluids, silica and minerals accumulate in the tree, turning the base of the tree white and eventually causing the tree to die. The white base, which to some people looks like a white sock, is called a bobby sock. Other plant species have evolved to require the heat and moisture from geothermal activity to survive and are endemic to the park. Bent grass, which lives in geothermally heated crevices along the walls of hot springs, is found only in the geyser basins along the Firehole River. And even rarer, is the Yellowstone Wild Brimstone, which requires a thermally affected area that is neither too hot nor too cold and grows only in the mostly barren open ground along the Firehole River. Other plants, such as the Yellowstone San Verbena, may have used the heat from geothermal activity to survive long enough to evolve from other species in its genus that are found only in warmer, drier climates. Megafauna have also adapted to the conditions of Yellowstone's geothermal areas. Although suited to the extreme cold, elk are not well suited to foraging in deep snow. However, thermal features along the Firehole River provide enough heat to expose vegetation for elk to graze year-round. The elk in this part of Yellowstone National Park are the only elk herd that spends both summer and winter within the park. However, the year-round availability of food comes at a high cost. Hydrothermal fluids and gases enrich this vegetation with higher concentrations of fluoride and silica than are generally found elsewhere. While some fluoride is beneficial to mammalian teeth, too much can cause decay. At the same time, silica, which is harder than tooth enamel, mechanically erodes teeth. Unhealthy teeth in ungulates, such as elk, contribute to poor nutrition and shorter lifespans. As a result, elk along the Firehole River have an average lifespan of 13 to 15 years, about five years shorter than elk elsewhere in Yellowstone National Park. A species' adaptability often corresponds to its reproductive rate. In Yellowstone National Park, we observe this theory. Microorganisms, which reproduce rapidly compared to megafauna, have evolved to survive extreme geochemical and thermal conditions that would mature other organisms. Larger creatures have not had enough generations to express new genetic traits, but we can still see behavioral modifications through immersion in thermal features 
to aid thermoregulation and reliance on geothermal heat to keep food sources available, thus avoiding unnecessary migration.